Hello chic lovers! You've already seen the machine in the video generics, so let's take a closer look. As network experts, you're aware that a packet comprises one or more headers and a payload. Sheik's primary focus is header compression, leaving the payload untouched. To achieve this, our Sheik has been configured with common compression patterns observed in network traffic. The process begins with pattern identification. The header undergoes a scan, generating an abstract representation of the headers. This abstraction serves as a key to locate the most suitable compression pattern. Next, we enter the data reduction phase. Information present in the chosen pattern is removed, retaining only values that cannot be inferred from the compression pattern. This retained data is called the compression residue. A numerical identifier is then appended, indicating the compression pattern utilized. While the compressed message can be transmitted directly, there are cases where compression alone is insufficient to fit into a single frame necessitating fragmentation. In such cases, the Sheik machine selects a fragmentation algorithm, divides the compressed message into segments, and attaches parameters. These parameters include the fragmentation algorithm's identifier and information such as the fragment's ordinal position in the original message. These fragments are then sent to their destination. On the destination, we will have reassembly and then decompression. Here we receive the last fragment, then the first. The middle fragment is missing. Now we have it. Once all fragments are received and their integrity verified, they are reassembled to form the original compressed message. The initial identifier reveals the compression pattern used, allowing the receiver to combine pattern information with compression residues, thereby reconstructing the original packet. It's evident that compression and fragmentation operate on a shared principle. An identifier dictates the methodology for compression or fragmentation and guides the correct interpretation of subsequent data. In Sheik terminology, these identifiers are designated as rule IDs, denoting either a compression or a fragmentation rule. Rules are aggregated into a rule set, constituting the static context referenced in the acronym. Two critical concepts emerge. Sheik establishes a point to point association exclusively between two endpoints. The rule, set, or context must be identical at both endpoints. The two endpoints and their associated rules constitute a chic instance. As we progress, you'll witness these concepts in action through examples. Prepare for an enlightening exploration into the realm of chic. Mm -hmm.